Okay, I usually do a lot of physics stuff, but I want to do something different. Uh, you know, I was at home and I was looking for a book and I found this old book. It says College Physics Kimball. I don't know if you can read that, uh, but it's fourth edition uh, and it's kind of old. And I thought I would just look at it because there's some cool stuff in here and I want to show you this. Uh, first of all, let's just look at some of the cool things in this book. Uh, Kimball... Uh, 1935 was the the last edition of this that was printed of this. I think that's what that says. Uh, and then so um, here's a preface to the fourth edition. So this is an old physics book. Okay, let's just look through it and look at some of the cool things that we can see. Uh, first, you'll notice one of the things that I love about this is that uh, it's it's short. Right? I mean, that's not a lot of text. There's no sidebars. There's no, oh, well, how does this apply to things in real life, which I do like, but I think a lot of the times we get a textbook and it's just boom in your face. And, and there's too much stuff there. There's too many things and you can't focus on the physics. Um, so let's just talk about physical science and the aim of physical science. Uh, let's just skip up here to something that we can look at. One, I did see something in here earlier. Yeah, mechanics. Um, vectors. That's important, right? All quantities involve the idea of direction as well as, as amount are said to be vector quantities or vectors. Uh, displacements or velocities, forces, etc. Um, now, here's the interesting thing that we don't see. It must be remembered, however, that a vector represented by the line AB is not the same as that represented by BA. So there's there's direction. But you, we don't see this. We don't represent vectors as as though you would in geometry. I mean, in geometry, a lot of times you use this uh, line AB stuff, but we don't see that anymore. Uh, there was some stuff about four. Let's skip to the stuff about now here. Laws of motion. Oh, look at this. Notice what I see here? 40 feet per second minus 50 feet per second divided by half a second. Uh, first of all, these are numbers that you could do without a calculator easily. And then we get uh, these imperial units, uh, which isn't surprising. I mean, I, you know, imperial units are still very popular in the United States. Uh, and, and in textbooks, I don't know when they switched over to metric. Um, but Let's look at the homework. A man walks half a mile in 10 minutes, which is average velocity in feet per second. Okay, that's fine. A bicycle rider is traveling north at a rate of 10 miles per hour. If the wind is blowing from the east at a rate of 6 miles per hour, what's the parent direction? Okay, that's relative velocity problem. Did they talk about that? You know, here's, here's the other thing. There's no summary, right? That's one of the things you always see at the end of the chapter is the summary. Well, that's, maybe that's not the summary. Uh, laws of motion. First law of motion, uh, every body continues in its state of rest or moving with a constant velocity in a straight line. Same. That's the same. And there, this is something, let's get to a better picture of that, but um, let's just skip ahead some amount. This I like. Look at this. Look at these diagrams. I mean, they're just, they're very artistic diagrams. I really like them a lot. This is when a rail, I just randomly turned to this page. When a railway train rounds a curve, it is kept in the curve by the pressure of the rail against the flanges of the wheels. I actually don't think that's true. Um, I think it's due to the uh, the curve nature of the, the wheels that they're slanted. Hmm. And they would have known about trains back then, though, so look at this. You'll notice that we don't, they don't have vector notation. Um, what's this thing? Hmm. Okay, I do have something in here I definitely want to show you. Let's skip ahead some more though. Uh, mechanics, kinetic energy of a rotating body, uh, rotation, angular momentum, precession. Okay, this is an introductory book, so it doesn't really get into it too much. Uh, Gravita gravitation. The Cavendish experiment. I like that. Oh, you can't. Hopefully you can see that okay. Okay, let's get to the end of a chapter and see if it does have... Okay, that's... I think that's the end of a chapter. Mechanics. 
gravitation. It didn't even have end. Uh, no, that's a. Is that a homework problem? No. It's weird how they're doing these numerical things right there. Are these all problems? References? Gravity? I guess these are all problems. And it looks like they're picking up from the previous. What the heck? It's just a list of, like, things. Okay. Let's just skip. They got a lot of stuff in here. But this is what I wanted to show you. I found this in here. I don't know where I got this book. Okay. I mean, I know my dad took physics, and he had some old books. This could be my father's. No, it couldn't, because it's 1936. Okay. 1936, October 19th. Uh, this is a homework problem set. A jack screw has four threads per inch, a pitch of one fourth inch, and is turned by a bar 20 over pi. Notice it looks like they drew in pi manually, okay? Because um, they typed this. So what's the ideal mechanical advantage? Um, what's the output? And, and I love this, right? Love all the notes right here. They did all the calculations by hand. They didn't have a calculator, uh, so they have, to, they have to do it that way. It's just... I don't know. And down on the back, calculating the answer in horsepower. Uh, that's that's just that's kind of cool. Uh, is I think there might be some more paper in here. Let's see. Okay, so I just really enjoy looking at these old books. I love the old diagrams, uh, the art in them. I, I do notice that they. They don't express things mathematically and in words the same way that we do now. Uh, they just it, we can see that we've evolved our way of re representing these physics ideas. I think for the better. Uh, but there you go. So that's a physics textbook from 1930s, 1940s, uh, and so you can get a, a glimpse of what that was like.